Hello and welcome to Prudent Media. My name is Sachin Chatte and on this program we take a look at the latest Friday releases. Well, this week we are going to take a look at Rajkumar Rao's hit The First Case and the biopic on Mithali Raj called Shabash Mithu. Shabash Mithu is another of those hagiographies that masquerades as a biopic but doesn't do anything special on any count. Cricketer Mithali Raj's real life story is an inspirational one, but the real life has been turned into a run of the mill story of a sports person. In fact, it seems to be the order of the day. Bollywood has made a bunch of biopics, but there is hardly anything noteworthy that stands out as good cinema. If anything, the same mistakes are amplified in the newer films as well. Directed by Srijit Mukherjee who gave us a film called Begum Jaan which still traumatizes me this film is written by Priya Aven now i have seen facebook posts that are more engaging take this for example Mithali's career spanned 23 years starting from 1999 and it ended last month in june but at no point do you get a sense of time and the era in the film a cricket match is shown with taunton england mentioned but was it 6 weeks ago was it 6 years ago or was it in the previous century you have no idea but that is just one of the several flaws this is also a film in which cliches are personified also you learn very little in the film about one of the greatest players the game has produced let's rewind to hyderabad where mithu a young girl who almost accidentally takes up cricket with her feisty best friend nuri played wonderfully by kasturi jagnam first she starts by playing with her brother who tells her to take a hike girls playing cricket were mocked by the friends and their families as well and of course the boys and getting into any sport is a difficult task in its own right and getting into sports as a woman the task gets amplified unimaginably There is definitely a point to be made about that but that point can be made in a slightly more nuanced and subtle way instead of underlining everything Mithali played by Tapsi Pannu grows up to become a talented young cricketer under the watchful eyes of her coach Sampath which is played wonderfully by Vijay Raj she manages to make it to the camp for the national team where she is teased and harassed by her seniors and that episode is a big yawn The Indian team captain Sukumari played by Shilpa Marwa whom we saw in a wonderful film called Widow of Silence she dislikes the young girl and all that initial hostility with the other girls and Mithali is dull and completely unnecessary in this 162 minute film Now all Bollywood films need a villain and here it is the captain Sukumari who tries her best to sabotage her career Shabash Mithu makes a lot of valid points For instance, the treatment meted out to women cricketers and the hardships they had to face, but it tries too hard and overdoes almost every point it makes. In the process of fighting for the rights of women cricketers, Mithali makes enemies and quits cricket. She's making dosas at home and looking for a groom, and that becomes the order of the day. But again, the film gives no sense of the period when it happened. Did she stay away from the sport for months, for years, for a decade or a half? You will have to go to Wikipedia to check that because the film doesn't tell us anything much on that count. There are a few cleverly devised scenes like the one where Mithu is facing her teammates as bowlers and we see their roots as to where they come from, a fish market, an iron foundry and other such places. But visually such scenes and montages are few and far between. Now to the part that really got my goat the background score there is some bad news says a character and there is sad music instantly on cue and there is enough music in this film to be used in half a dozen movies but it is all cramped in just one film here every scene is punctuated with music there are a couple of moments where there is a 3 second silence but then again the background music makes a roaring comeback killing the scene This film I think should be used as a textbook example of how not to use background music. Srikar Prasad's editing occasionally saves the day as far as certain scenes are concerned, but it can't save the film. However, Tapsi Pannu gives it her best shot and in the end you feel for both the actress and the cricketer. They both deserved better and so did we. 
I'm going to go with two out of five stars for the Mitali Raj biopic called Shabash Mitu. It could have been such a better film. The second film to release this week is a Rajkumar Rao starer called Hit. To begin with, Hit, that's H I T, is an acronym for Homicide Intervention Team, and it is nothing like the intervention done by the precogs in Minority Report. Instead, Hit is more like CID. A remake of the 2020 Telugu film of the same name and by the same director. Not sure what exactly is the point of remaking the movie since it's a ditto copy of the original. They were better off dubbing it in Hindi instead. After all, there is nothing groundbreaking regarding the story, writing, action, or any other discipline of filmmaking. Everything that happens in this film happens at a breakneck speed. Set in Rajasthan, Rajkumar Rao plays Vikram, an investigating officer in the intervention team whose past still traumatizes his present. That incident, once upon a time, triggered pyrophobia, and the otherwise sharp guy freezes whenever he sees fire. Now his shrink is very much concerned about his mental and physical state, so he decides to go on a sabbatical, which unfortunately doesn't last very long. His girlfriend Neha, played by Sanya Malhotra, is a forensic expert at a very fancy government organization, and she goes missing. Now, prior to that, a young girl named Preeti also suffers the same fate. We get to see partly what happened before Preeti goes missing on the highway, but the girlfriend just vanishes out of the blue. It is up to Vikram then, who is not in his best frame of mind, to investigate the case. Much to the chagrin of his colleague and his senior officer, played by Dalip Tahil, the film doesn't pause at any point. Something is always happening constantly: a clue, a red herring, and the other usual tropes that we see in such movies. On the one hand, it doesn't help the film cinematically, but on the other, it also restricts the film's length. Vikram is a Sherlock Holmes and a Poirot rolled in one. Add to it. His sense of smell is like that of a hound. This is a whodunit mystery, all right, and the final revelation will not exactly make your jaw drop. Now, Rajkumar Rao as the main protagonist is terrific. Whether it is portraying anger or helplessness, he makes his character looks believable. The rest of the film is pedestrian, though. Now, the sequel of the original Telugu film will be out soon. And hopefully they will just dub it in Hindi and be done with it. I'm going to go with two out of five stars for Rajkumar Rao's latest film called Hit. Let us know what you think of the new releases. Do write in to us at features at prudentmedia.in, and I'll be back with you next week with more movie releases. Till then, it's goodbye from me.